What is up everybody and welcome back to a last day on Earth survival. So it has been ooh, it's been a couple of days since that last video I did where I actually raided that amazing hacker base and finished off the acid bath. And since then I've been doing a little bit of work at the dog crate. So I've finally got Ooh, uh, let's cancel that quickly. I need to bring my pooches in from wandering. There you are. And we can now breed dogs. So we're going to be breeding Trixie with Bruno or Bear. Let's go Bruno. Right, so decreases the need for food for the dog crate and Hunter. Let's go for this one because I want to keep the Hunter stat. Right then. Let's, um, let's see what happens. Crossbreed. We got Stella. Cool. Now, is this going to be a level one dog or a better one? You can be called Annie. Right, so now I've had some of the dogs vanish. Huh. I thought the dog would vanish. Whatever. Let's give that and let's see what trait we can get. Well stocked and bloodhound. Increases the chance of finding rare items by 5%. Nice. So now we've got two, ah, we've got a, a level two and a level three, three female, and we're still at two level ones then. So you know what, let's grow this one up. Companion, there we go. And let's breed Milo with Bella. Why not? Crossbreed. And we got a male. Hopefully, he's going to be a level 2. Uh, Rocco, Casey, Bear, Tucker. Let's call you Tucker. Send you to the dog crate. And for the purposes of making the video, let's grow Tucker up. Okay, he's a... Increases puppy's growth speed by 2%. And companion. So that makes him also a level 2. So we have now got a level 2 called Annie. Level 2 called Tucker. Now, do we want to make sure that we keep the Bloodhound trait? Or see if we can get a different trait? Hang on. Let's um, let's take a look at the traits quickly. Uh, rank Bloodhound. If it increases the chance of getting a high rank when crossbreeding. Increases damage done by all dogs. Rank 4. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to inherit the trait because we want it to get either witty or leader. So, let's breed Annie Tucker. And we are getting Brandy. Ah, uh, we got a female. That's unfortunate. So we're now going to have two level three females. Uh, what are you going to be called? Zoe, Holly, Gracie, Trixie. There you go. Right, and can I speed this up? I can. Uh, not a single rare trait. Hunter, careful, companion. Okay, but we've now got two level three females, which isn't the most useful. Be a lot better if we had a level 3 male there, because then we would start getting a chance of getting the true friend trait. But yay! Cool! Down to 57 coins. That's less cool. Right then, you do that. So, I was talking to a few people, and apparently there is a way to guarantee that you'll get the true friend trait. However, trend, true friend trait. However, I've got to urge all of you to not do it, because it can lead to you losing your account. I'm not going to teach you how to do it, it's the basically the treat slash trick where you clear your cache that you've got stored of the game and then restore your progress. However, by doing that, yes, it lets you go back a few minutes in the game to before you rolled the traits for your papa. However, it can corrupt your save file and make you lose your account, so it is not worth it. Do not do it. There's going to be a few videos coming out soon. I know, I'm not going to name the people because I don't want you to see how to do this, 
but there's a specific YouTuber that's been doing this a lot, there's two of them actually, and they're both making videos on how to do this trick. So please do not do it, just for your own sake, you do not want to lose all your base and progress and everything. Right, I have actually got to head out to the library to go and do some work for my course. I'm doing um, geology at university for those that didn't know. So I will come back to finish this video off with a raid and I might even clear out bunker hard mode between now and then and see if it will let me get another floppy crate because I'm only probably about three notebooks away from the next floppy disk. So I'll see you all in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I've got a revenge raid ready to go. However, raiding is slightly bugged at the moment and there's a chance that you'll sit on an infinite loading screen and then be sat, sent back to your base with all of your inventory deleted, which I do not want to happen. So what I'm going to do is just scout the base completely naked with nothing on me that I'm going to need. There we go. Let's see if I'm going to get a revenge raid, or if this is just going to keep going down. I missed three raids yesterday because of it. Two revenge raids and one raiders raid. Not the happiest person. So it means I didn't... Oh, okay. So it's working this time. And I can get a look at what I need to bring. Hmm. Looks like a low level base. Could get away with not a ton of hatchets. Let's go and pick up everything. Not gonna lie, I was completely expecting that to just stay on a loading screen and not let me enter. Right. Not gonna bother taking the C4, as we know we don't need it. I'll take the AK. Uh, uh, I'll take another hatchet just in case. And I wanna grab something to eat. Um, you know what? Let's just raid our grow beds. Hello. Did I just say hello to a garden bed? I think I did. Right, kennel. Uh, let's bring these back in. So I can bring them back to life when I come out later. And that'll all be sorted out. Right, I'm going to take the chopper this time and drive over there. Wonder if I'll get anything good from this place. Oh yeah, and I've been expanding my perimeter. Gradually turning it into stone because I'm getting sick of the... What is it? The horde breaking down my external walls. Because it takes... 20, 20, uh, what was I saying? 20 what? It takes 20 wood, wooden planks to repair each wall, well, to build each wall. Right then, let's go and see what kind of raid we're going to get. Hoping this is just going to be amazing base with brilliant loot, and he's just got a kind of weak external base. And I might even try and get the raider's task completed and have this as a double raid video. I'll decide after how this raid goes. I think there's a chance this is actually the same name of the base I raided the other day. Hmm. Um, first up, let's have a look at what's in the truck. See, I think this is a really low level person because they haven't... Not too bad. They got a chopper down here? Nah. Yeah. Right then, let's just go in through this door. Oh, great. It's one of these. Right then, um... <sighs> Path of least resistance. Just going straight through here, because hopefully this will be the quickest way. And there we go. No, I want to break. <sighs> there we go. And we're in. Okay, so he has got the refined melting furnace. Almost got all the engine parts in there. As generator's not completed. Right, um... You know what, he's got a workbench and a refined melting furnace. What have we got in here? Two aluminium plates. You know what? I'm going to take the rubbing alcohol as well. Hmm. Now, do we... I see a chest in here that's protected. And what is that over there? That looks like... 
a better floor over there that's protected as well. Shame we can't walk past this. Oh, yes we can. Hmm. Right, so there's a better floor there, but no chest behind it. Right. You know what? They've been trying to protect this chest, so we'll just break into this one. And... Two... Three! What have you got? One copper ore. Thank you very much for giving me this base to raid, Kevin. Really appreciate it. But at least I know I didn't overdo it on the amount of hatchets. I still might not even have enough with me, but I don't want to waste too many hatches on a raid that's not looking like it's going to be the best. Yes, I know. Just die, please. Right, what have we got in here? Ooh, fully modded AK. An entire set of SWAT armor. Nice, because I have completely ran out of SWAT. Silence, silence. Another AK. And nothing else amazing. Right, I need to sneeze quickly. Alright, I am back. Ever so sorry about that. Right, let's see what we can get through here. Noise meter starting to tick up. Hmm. So that's their garden beds there. Right. Let's just start prepping their chests to get broken up. And we'll go through and smash them all in in one go. One. Two. Right, so what have we got left? we got this one. I'm tempted to see what's behind that wall. We easily should have enough noise to work with it. And already broke into that chest. Alright, so this is the second horde. So we've got one more horde and then the big one. Let's see if we get anything actually good from this raid here. I mean, already got a few guns, which is nice. But I already have a lot of guns. You know what? We're going to smash through this wall and get the chest in here prepared as well. There's no point to not do it, really. This might be where their absolute best loot is. Right, so we'll start with this one. Uh, 15 gold bars, a bit of whiskey. Can't say no to a bit of whiskey. Uh, 20 of them. Yeah, not really sure on any of that stuff. Requires hatchet. I've actually run out of hatchets. Uh, shit. Um. Hmm. Have I got any in my inbox? One second. What's in here? Nine of that. Take that instead of. Uh, yep. So yeah, this horde will take out the gun, and that will give us another inventory slot. Where's a... There you go. That took way too long to do. Is that one or two? That's just one abomination there. Uh, let's take the 19 aluminium. Uh, don't especially want any of that. Uh, don't really want any of this stuff either. I'll take that. Right, I'm not sure. Ooh, here we go. This is where the good stuff is. Right, so the med kits. Um, I've still got my chopper. Let me go and stash a few items away. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting anything that amazing from this base, but 14 med kits is nothing to laugh at, and a fully modded AK. So it's not the worst raid I've ever had. I've had some raids where I get quite literally nothing at all. Those ones are the worst raids I've had. Right, so we can break into, I think, three more chests. Let's use a make it quick. Make it bandage quickly. Right then. I No, I don't want to break that. I want to uh, loot this. And you know what? I'll take that stuff. Just because. Oh, was that... Was that the last chest? No, one there. Uh, and we are at noise 100, so we've got the big one here. Time to go. Well, that raid didn't really give us anything that amazing. We got a couple of guns. Left behind one copper ore, but we've already got a ton of that. So what I might do is, after I've done a bit of work, head over to the bunker, clear out the third floor. Possibly about to have girlfriend walk in the room.
No, she has gone to the kitchen. Hello, Mr. Bunny. Sorry, Mrs. Bunny. Not sure if I said earlier in the video, I've named my rabbit Cat, well, Catherine, Cat for short, because she behaves like a cat. She's just happy to completely sit still and do nothing. And I'm stuck on a loading screen after coming back from a raid again. So there's a possibility I will lose absolutely everything I just got. So give me one moment, I'm going to relaunch the game. Hey, we made it back. Didn't even have to go for a loading screen or whatnot. Right then, let's... Yep, stop it. I know you're in pain. You'll be fine. <sighs> so dramatic. There you go. You can take all of that good stuff. And we'll stash this. We'll just get the important things stashed away quickly. Right, let's have a quick look at what the raider wants us to do. And then head out and complete whatever it is. Go away, dealer. Uh, dealer? Trader. Uh, healer. Medicine person. Whatever. Uh, wants me to open 12 more dangerous chests. That is fine because that should get me a bit more tape, which I've completely run out of. Uh, third floor of Bunker Alpha and three airdrops. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can get an airdrop to pop up on the map right now. That'd be awesome and perfect. If it does, please, game, be nice to me. No? Okay. Alright, I'll come back when I've got a raid ready to go. What is up, everybody? Wait, no. I've already done that. This is part way through a video, isn't it? So, welcome back, everybody. There we go. That works better. So, I believe the last... Honestly, I do not know what the last clip is that you saw because I have been waiting absolutely ages to go out on this raid. It has taken me so long to get another airdrop. I think I actually recorded the last clip you saw two days ago. And now I'm only just getting onto another raid. I've had a revenge raid since, which decided to crash and just deleted all my stuff. Right, let's take with us. Let's just take all of this stuff. So as you can tell, I'm going raiding. Right, I'm gonna want some normal hatchets as well. Okay, I can make one with this. Probably going complete overkill with the hatchets, but I think it's worth it, considering we can get some pretty amazing stuff in raids, and I have not got my sound on. There you go. Right, let's go and grab a drink quickly. Uh, let's do that. Can you, thank you. And we'll get a bit of food before we head out. So I've got two airdrops left to do, but I'm just gonna skip the task. How's the acid valve doing? Yeah, I've got a random stockpile of items in there. I'll eventually get around to sorting it all. And there's been a bit of progress in the core of my base. Hang on. There we go. Furniture. Now up to three trunks. And I painted everything white just to show off how much white paint I have. I'm leaving that one red because I like it. And, yep, gradually turning all this to trunks. Closer and closer every day. Hey, dogs. How's it going? Hello, Mr. Raider. Right, skip that. Complete. Let's go raid. Hello, Pooch. Sorry, you're not allowed to come with me. Right, off we go. Hopefully this one doesn't glitch. I've been told by a few people in Discord that it's working fine now. I know the dealer's there. He wants a bunch of bolts and stuff that I can't bother to deal with him because I've already got a entire chest full of weapon crates, which I'll open at some point in the video. Fran 92. I do not recognize that name. Hmm. I did go through a phase where I literally raided 20 bases in a row. So I might be wrong. Okay. Looks like. Wait. Hang on. Ah, damn. One moment. My um, girlfriend's post has just arrived. I'll be back in a second. Ever so sorry about that, people. I was... Ooh. That's blowing through here. Yeah, as I said, post turned up and girlfriend's currently hurt her back. So she can't walk much. Should be fine in, I don't know, later today. She's just sitting there with big heat things strapped to her. Oh, nice. Found their gun box. I'm probably content to just raid this room alone. So. Right. 
No, let's just get all of these boxes ready to go. Because why not? It's fun doing it like this. Might be boring to watch, I don't know, but I enjoy doing it. It's just so satisfying. And no chest there, but we got one down here. And we got one here. Right, let's go stash a couple things in our chopper, not his. Do not want to leave stuff in his chopper. I wish you could choose where you parked. It'd be so much easier. Well, just more convenient. Uh, fully modded. One shotgun, two shotgun, and a C4. There we go. Perfect. So we've already got enough stuff to go and take out the blind one if I wanted to. I'm just happy about this because it means I'm going to be able to clear out bunker hard mode without breaking into my stash of guns. Right. We're at 52 noise. Okay. Uh, gun parts, I'm honestly tempted to take them because I use them for baiting revenge raids. Right. You're dead. Right, uh, chest hit. Ooh, some military armor. Uh, nine red tickets, 20 med kits, uh, a lot of bandages. Okay. Don't really want any of that. No, don't want to break that. Right, gonna have probably one round of zombies here. Gonna need to switch out guns. There we go. Is this three? No, it's just two. Ah, here comes the last one. Right, this is almost going to be enough. Yeah. Um, and we'll do that. Ah, oh, there's nothing amazing in there. Yeah, it just his melee weapons. A couple of stuff in there. What should we take? We'll take these. A minigun. People will yell at me if I don't take the minigun. Uh, this one. No, I don't want to break that wall. I want to look in this. Right. Now, is it, do you think, worth breaking through another wall somewhere? Hmm. So that's a lot of spikes. I can't bother to deal with all the spikes. Ooh. But there's a broken spike there. Let's see what's behind. Yeah, it's just all honeycombed. Darn. Oh, I'm guessing we got their best loot. Let's see what's through here. So this will leave us ready to open one more chest. Hey. Ah, oh, that's a workbench there. Right. I think this is going to summon the big one. Yeah. Uh... Four steel plates, I'll take it. Uh, that and that. Out. Uh, nothing amazing there. What do we want? Let's take this. And let's leave. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a great choice there. Four steel plates. I mean, oh, damn. I kind of wish it was bars because I don't actually need steel plates now because I've finished the room. And as far as I'm aware, I have got nothing left to complete that requires steel plates. Although I could use it for making the military backpacks when I inevitably die and lose mine. So that's always good. Hey, bunny. So my rabbit's currently staring at me. Right, they're going to want their own share of the loot. Um, oh no, I don't want to give you that anyway. Couple of gun parts. Uh, split it. Come on, don't take all my aluminium. There we go, 16. And can you do without that? No, no, of course you can't. Deal, pal. Perfect. Right, so from that, we got all of this, plus gun parts. Right then, let's stash the important bits. I just want to check quickly that my... Bait box, yeah, that's got stuff in it, good. Hmm, 
can't get through that way. I need to repair the wall there, otherwise raiders are going to start getting into my actual base. And we can't be having that now, can we? Right, you can take all of these. I think that's raiding supplies. Uh, you can come out of there. And stick a couple science guns in there. Right then, over to my vault slash safe. Ah, that is actually my only steel plates at the moment. Right, can make two more from there. Ah, oh yeah, and of course we'll call the dealers back. Not the dealer. Call the raiders back, and we'll see what quests they're going to give us. Because if it's nothing too bad, then we'll be able to head out on another raid today. Let's head on over. I think they're going to take a little while to spawn in. Let's say hello to the doggies. Hello. Right. What do they want? Uh, three trades with the dealer. Well, that's good because we know the dealer's already there. Second floor of the bunker. Good. I haven't done that one yet. 25 chests. Find a C4. Okay. I'm going to be able to get the C4 done because I'm almost at a floppy disk. I'll be able to get that done really quickly. I'm going to need to get some tape for that and these two are just going to require a bit of time and that one's just completely random. Okay, hope you all enjoy the video. Got a decent raid at the end there. Can't remember what the other raid was because it was so long ago for me. Goodbye.